This is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Feed My People Joy. And uh, today I want to go over um, a scripture, Mark 14, 24, that is probably pretty common to you, but you might not have ever thought about it. And the Lord just kind of gave me a revelation about this scripture uh, yesterday. And uh, it talks about the blood of the new covenant. And what God was saying to me <clears throat> was... In the blood of the new covenant, why is there new blood for new covenant? And he said, because the old blood in the old covenant couldn't do what it was supposed to do. And what was the purpose of the blood in the old covenant? When somebody sinned, they had to sacrifice. They were supposed to die, but instead of dying, they had to sacrifice an animal, a certain animal. They had to sacrifice and give blood. Uh, blood had to be spilled for their sins. Uh, but... The high priest is the one that <clears throat> killed the sacrifice and spread the blood on the altar and so on. But the high priest had to stay standing and, the, and he couldn't sit down because his work was never done. He'd go in there and he'd sacrifice the animal and sprinkle the blood on the mercy seat and so on. But every year he had to do that over and over and over again because no matter how many times he did it, there was always a remembrance of sin. The, the blood could only take away, or not even take away, the blood could only cover sin for one year. After that one year, um, the, the blood had to be applied again. That's the Old Testament. So the blood was never good enough to take away sin and to take away sin consciousness because it talks about the worshipers once purified would have no more consciousness of sin. So the old covenant couldn't do that. So the new covenant and the new blood, which is the blood of Jesus, uh, the new covenant had to be uh, sealed with new blood. And why was the blood so important? Because the blood of Jesus not only um, took away your sins, or not only covered your sins, it didn't even cover your sins, it removed your sins. And why is that so important? Because when your sins are removed, there is no more consciousness of sin, there's no more sin conscious, but you're Jesus conscious. And that's why it was so important in the Old Testament uh, and the New Testament to sacrifice blood, but yet in the Old, in the New Testament, there, there was required Jesus' blood, which only had to be applied and offered one time for all sacrifices for sin forever. So your whole lifetime of sin, because before you were even born and considered and even thought about doing one sin, your whole lifetime of sin, before you even committed one sin, was forgiven through the blood of Jesus, and it was forgiven forever. And Jesus said he won't um, remember your sin no more, because God wants you to be uh, Jesus conscious and not sin conscious. And that's why it's so important to know that there's one sacrifice in the new blood, in the new covenant, um, was Jesus' blood, which took away all of our sins for a whole lifetime. That doesn't mean you go around in sin. It simply means that when you miss the mark, when you mess up, you're not separated from God. Uh, you're, you're not going to hell. God still loves you. It's just that the blood of Jesus will make us want to not sin. So, um, my name is Robin Bremer. That was Mark uh, 14, 24, along with some other scriptures. And I hope that that helps you understand the importance of the blood in our new covenant. Have a good day. I'll talk to you tomorrow.